can we start? Thank you very much. The Operating Theatre, a place of hope and fear. You've been so brave. Where's your head back, sweetheart? Some of these patients come in, they're really scared. You're not OK, because I can see it in your face. We're back in day surgery at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital. Where's the Queen? Where the theatres, beds and staff have been rigged with cameras. We work wonders here. We use humour in theatre. So you win some more local anaesthetic. <laughs> Capturing familiar faces hard at work. No karate in here today. Oh, no. Bless her. Look how little she is. Love you. Performing complex operations. You never know what you're going to get. It's exciting and I absolutely love it. Is he alright? Is he breathing? And changing lives. Stand clear, please. Inside the operating theatre. I've never had anyone who said they hadn't enjoyed it. My daughter oh, yeah. thinks that it's a reality TV thing that you get voted off. Oh. Like it's something of strictly come dancing, you have an operation off. <laughs> if it's me and another surgeon, we have to operate together. And people phone up and go, vote for me. Favourite surgeon? Well, I can't tell you any names in case they watch. <laughs> <laughs> OK, everybody happy? Marvellous. Thank you very much. Do I have a favourite scrub nurse? That's a very dangerous question. Um, no. Uh, not one. Nearly all of them. <laughs> so not only does Masood prefer you, Ahmed prefers you. Mm -hmm. I'm nobody's favourite anymore. <laughs> Can I have Benjamin Crawford, yes. please? Thank Lovely. You. OK, super. If you just pop some hand gel on for me and we'll go yeah. through to Ooh. the board, OK? Sorry. Today I've got my grandma with me. She's going to stay with me all day throughout the surgery. She'll just be sat there, but, yeah, she, she wants to wait around just to see how it goes. OK. So if you have a seat, I'll just bring your chair over, OK? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Around 20 months ago, I weighed just shy of 27 stone. I now currently weigh about 16, 16 and a half stone, so it was a lot of hard work and effort, basically, yeah. Oh, I could definitely fall asleep in here. Then yet again, I can fall asleep anywhere. I'm falling asleep on a concrete floor, so that's not really saying much. When you lose a lot of weight, your body releases cholesterol into the bloodstream and into your body, and for some reason that stores within your gallbladder and creates stones. Morning. So I'm Emily, I'm going to be your nurse today, yeah. OK? They can grow and I can end up with more gallstones and they can cause issues. I'm just going to pull that curtain. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 you're okay. fine. Lovely. They get stuck in the duct into the bowel, into the stomach, um, and when that happens it causes well, for me personally, it causes my body to go into spasm. So I all literally all my muscles contract right through my body to my legs, to my arms, so I collapse and I can't stand up. So you are Benjamin Crawford? Yeah. And we are doing a laparoscopic cholecystectomy. That's to me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll put my teeth in, sorry. That's right, I'm the same. I can't say half of the word. More simply put, Ben is having his gallbladder removed. Unfortunately, anyone who's had it will know the, the agony that it can cause when you're just literally, there's, there's nothing that will stop the pain. And unfortunately, because it comes in waves a bit like um, contractions do with pregnancy, it'll, it'll cool off and come back. It, it's, it's the fear of knowing what's about to come back and bite you again, even though there's nothing you can actually do to stop it. So whenever you are put under general anaesthetic, there's always a risk of developing what we call deep vein thrombosis, OK, which is blood clots in your legs. Yeah. And to help reduce that risk, we just ask you to wear some nice green stockings. Yeah. Is that all right? I've got some big stockings to fit these size legs as well, I've got to say. <laughs> Something so small 
and it might seem so insignificant actually has a massive impact on daily life because I'm constantly worrying about, because if it starts, the it can go on for two, three, four hours at times. This is, is always in the back of your mind. Great, thank okay. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I look, I look hot in my green stockings. Ben works at a local GP surgery on reception and giving IT support. The first time I was really worried because it's quite in the centre of your chest, the pain. So it does feel like it could be some sort of heart attack. Um, fortunately enough, I had it at work, but they knew straight away it wasn't. Ben's consultant is general surgeon, Mr. Zach. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Benjamin Cranford. Yeah. Nice to meet you. And your mum? Grandma. So, grandma. So, yeah. <laughs> so you know what's the plan today? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's keyhole removal of your gallbladder. Yeah. Uh, these four small cuts and yeah. special instruments, uh, we take the gallbladder out completely, all yeah. of it with gallstones. Yeah. We do the surgery keyhole, but we need to take out the gallbladder through the belly button cut. Okay, so the gallbladder is located here. It's yeah. very close to liver, made the bowel duct and bubble. Yeah. So when we do surgery in that area, there's always risk. Yeah. After the surgery, you may experience a bit of bloating, a bit of diarrhea. Yeah. Okay, just give your body enough time to adapt to the new situation without uh, the uh, gallbladder. Although people can function without a gallbladder, it can be harder to digest food in the short term, especially if it's high in fat. You are third on the list, so uh, it may be uh, half uh, 11, 12, we'll see how it goes. Okay? Yeah, no, that's Thank great. You. Thank you very much. Today is the end of my weight loss journey. I'm still not nervous yet. I feel like I really should be. Like... I might be shaving in my shoes. <laughs> Would you? I'm looking forward to it just because it means that I can sort of move on into a new chapter. I'm hoping the operation will be successful, that, you know, I don't have pain that I have to rest after a shift at work and not suffer when I'm out walking. <laughs> no, let me suck my hair out. I'm on my feet all day, so I'm in pretty much a lot of pain. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Yeah. No. <laughs> my partner, Lynn, is with me today. We've been together nearly five years. Get my best side. Oh, that's your front. That is my best side. <laughs> I've had it for, I would say, a solid couple of years. It's just like a constant throb and it's like, feels it's on fire. You're such a poser. I've got to the point where I need something done. Fingers crossed. Do I have an Amanda Walsh? She's been in pain for quite a few months. It's just over time, I suppose. Age, maybe. Um, where she, <laughs> she'd kill me for saying that. Uh, yeah, just, just something that's um, grown within the body. And um, yeah, they're just going to take it out. <laughs> My name's Sophie. I'll be the nurse looking after you today. Can I get you to hold those a minute then, Sophie? Thank you. We come prepared. You must have been a brownie, I reckon. <laughs> Actually, I was. Oh, see. Yeah. Hello, Never Brownie. made it into guides, so. though. <laughs> if you want to take a seat in the blue chair, and I'll go and find you a chair, OK? You get the comfy chair oh, for a minute. Otherwise, you end up being operated on if you sit <laughs> in, the little, in the comfy one. Do you want a foot rest as well? You OK? Tell me if you're not OK. I'll know if you're not OK. You're not OK, because I can see it in your face. I'm fine. Thank you. AJ suffers from a condition called Morton's neuroma, where the nerve between two toes becomes inflamed, causing a stabbing pain. She has two neuromas on her left foot, which need to be surgically removed. I work at a consult medical company. We make inhalers and injectables. My working days, manning machines, um, for an eight hour shift. Just want to over and done with. By the end of my shift, it's like just like red hot brick under your toe. 
in her eye. Oh, yeah. Left. Yeah. Some more. <laughs> <laughs> she does like to walk. I can tell you haven't eaten anything. Let's do a quiz or something. I've got a book. Puts a little dampener on it when you have to stop and wait and sit and start again. And then the rest of the evening, she's sort of sitting with her foot up and feeling pretty, pretty horrible. Crepe. 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 Yeah, it could be. Crepe. Well, I'll just see what number 20 down is. Noel Coward comedy, something lives, beginning with a P then, if that's seven letters. Who's Noel Coward? <laughs> you don't know who Noel Coward is. Oh, my God. Is that her You're out so of, innocent. No, wait. Is that her out of Crossroads? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> AJ's consultant is podiatric surgeon Mr Withy. She's the third patient on his surgical list. Hello, hello, how are Hi, you? Yeah. I'm good, thanks. Can I just have a look at your yeah. face? The plan will make two small incisions on the top of your foot, find the inflamed tissue, remove it, send it off to the lab to see what they, they make of it. OK. Uh, but uh, most of the time it is in, inflamed nerve tissue. Just try and relax your foot. Yeah, so you've got that pop there. What about, yeah, Aww. you've got that there as well, haven't you? Yeah, that's why we, you know, obviously, normally it's just one interspace, you know, you're quite unlucky to have two. Yeah. Yeah. That's typical with you, anyway. Yeah. It's unusual to get two intermetals on your own, it can make it more painful, uh, and it does make the surgery a little bit more challenging as well, because it can affect the blood supply to the toes. But I think that's everything that I need to go over. OK. All right. See you in a little while. All right, we'll see you in okay. a bit. All right, thanks. You get nervous now? No. Good. She comes over as quite calm most of the time, but, yeah, she's a bit nutty. She, she's uh, fun to be with and um, makes me laugh. We've been through quite a lot in the four years, haven't we? Five. <laughs> five years. You don't know how long you've been with me. Five years. I know, I can't help December it. December 13th. Hello there. Hiya. You all right? Yeah. Nice to meet you. My name's Abigail. I'm one of the sisters in the department. All right. Hello. I'm come to collect you for your procedure. All right. Okay. I can cope with the numb toe, but it's just the pain that is horrible, to be fair. And painkillers. I'm fed up taking them, so I want to be painkiller free as well. See you soon. Mm. Yeah, good. Mm. Yep, you'll be fine. All right. Mm. All right. Yeah. You sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. See you later. I'm just gonna go here, all, right. all right. I'll be here yeah. when you come back. <laughs> the main difference is just going to be to take away the pain for her. Really, stop her moaning. <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> David. Hiya, David. Hi. AJ Walsh is about to have surgery to remove two neuromas from her foot. Sections of nerves have become inflamed and need to be cut away. Is that everybody in there for me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Wow. Any questions? <laughs> no, I'm good to go. Okay. Tiny little scratch there, okay. right? Yeah. You're really Manage any holidays this year? I'm going to New York for Christmas. Oh my wow. God, that so, is. That's a little bit of a holiday of a lifetime, isn't it? It is. It's one on your bucket list. Oh, it's it's got it. some oxygen for yeah, you. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, so just breathe away. You can carry on talking. Just okay. wear her off nicely. Yeah. We'll take good care of you, all right? Oh, well, I'll be fine. Have you been to New York before? No. Good, so. <gasps> Go to Macy's, I recommend. Yeah. You're going to have to tell them that you're, um, you are visiting and they'll give you a discount. Just for being a visitor. Yeah. See, all that extra stuff yeah. you can pop in your suitcase. Yeah. Maybe some Christmas presents. Nice big deep breaths, all right? It's all going to be fine. Right. Thank you. And we are ready to go.
Ready, steady, pull. AJ has suffered from the condition for two years. It causes excruciating pain. All the other treatment options she's tried have failed. Surgery is her last hope. Can I have the uh, table up, please? Is Andy back yet? Mr. Withy begins by making incisions on the top of AJ's foot to expose the abnormal nerves. Just like Morton's neuroma, basically, but she's got a couple of, she's getting pain in both, so. Is it just fibre? fibre it's just, tissue? it's normally a yeah, nerve tissue. You can see it down there. When you actually physically look at the nerve, rather than looking like, say, a fine piece of string or dental floss, it almost looks like a, a piece of chewed bubble gum. It's very inflamed. Mr. Withy removes AJ's first neuroma. Some fatty tissue. I'm not sure there's no little vessels there. And we'll swap over. a lot more substantial. Can you see it oh, there? Oh, yeah. So that's what happens when they walk. It sort of pops up and, and compresses, yeah, and then the nerve gets sort gets of... You get what's called perineural fibrosis, sort of thickening on the sheath yeah. of the nerve. But that's, a, that's a, quite a good example, that one. Yeah. Marvellous. Just healthy fat tissue there now. That's good. It's taken less than half an hour for Mr. Withy to remove AJ's neuromas. He injects a nerve block to ease the pain when she wakes up. We've been chopping away at the nerve, which essentially sends pain messages from the foot to the brain. So without the nerve block, it would be screaming these messages to the brain. So which bay are we? Here? Oh, sorry. It's bay five. Bay five. Crazy. Lovely. Thank you very much. Amanda, hello. Amanda, operation's all finished now. Hello. Hi, honey. Spit it out. That's it. Well done. All done. Wipe your face. You're out of theatre. You're in recovery. All done. It's all done. Oh, There's a big bandage. Yeah, yeah, it's all went well. Yeah. Awesome. I think we are You're having a nice kip, were you? Yeah. Christmas. Is that what you were thinking of? Yeah. Christmas presents. <laughs> yes. yeah, you sound I've... like you've been to the Christmas party. Never mind Christmas shopping. Oh, my goodness. You'll actually get oh. back. That's fine. It's all gone well. It's all gone well. Ben Crawford is about to have his gallbladder removed. He developed painful gallstones after losing a substantial amount of weight. I put the weight on post leg injury. I was playing rugby league and unfortunately I was tackled from behind. My leg completely snapped. After that, my exercise levels dropped significantly. I was sat there bored, you then eat. And you don't notice it until you look back and realise that over a period of five years, I'd put on six, seven, eight stone. Happy to start, please. General surgeon Mr. Zach will remove Ben's gallbladder using keyhole surgery. I'm feeling quite positive today. Um, almost like a relief thing, knowing that after today, I can sort of start trying to move on and feel a bit more relieved about having to not worry about things so much. Oh, spleen, look. OK, so can we have a bit of positioning, please? Four separate cuts are made to insert the instruments needed to remove the gallbladder.
Nice, tight. Ah. Let's ask him to what gym he goes. Yeah, if you can please sir, come to my side. Ah, now I can see. <laughs> okay. It's a bit of adhesion, we need to take it down first. Would that cause discomfort, that adhesion there then? Something happened here, most likely a bit of cholecystitis. Uh, it means that the gallbladder is causing troubles, which is good. So if you take it out, the patient should feel better. Good. Cholecystitis uh, itself uh, can cause uh, lots of pain. In extremes, uh, the infection can get so bad that the uh, gallbladder uh, can uh, perforate. You can potentially die from a uh, bad infection of gallbladder. Mr. Zach needs to gently separate the gallbladder from the liver using just the camera to guide him. Up, 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 up. Grasp and up. It's a highly skilled technique that takes several years to master. If he damages the vital bile duct, Ben's liver would fail. Ben Crawford is having keyhole surgery to remove his gallbladder. This chap being very fit, he probably won't have much recovery time. Will he be quite up and going? Yeah, he should be all right. Uh, sometimes when they try to go out too early, mm. they may have a bit of pain. His surgeon is Mr. Zach. Can you imagine if you ever had to have a procedure? Who? You. I would be un unstoppable. You would be unstoppable. Yeah, yeah, You'd be yeah, in a wheelchair yeah. walking yeah, down yeah. the walls, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Zach delicately removes the gallbladder from the liver by clipping off the blood supply. It's very squishy. We've not got any stones in there for the moment. We may, we may not. OK, good. Do patients have to change their diet after they have their gallbladder out? The uh, gallbladder, it's really to avoid extremes of fat. OK, so the... Like, well, like a pizza. But initially, you, you will not be able to uh, digest too much fat, OK? Right. So you just need to avoid really... Fatty foods. Double chips. Chips, burgers. Fried stuff. I can have a veggie burger. Veggie. That's not the same. It's not the same. And back, please. The string is out. Yes, Good. I've done it already. Thank you. You're welcome. Once the gallbladder is separated, a bag is inserted into Ben's abdomen. The gallbladder needs to be placed inside this bag to remove it safely from his body. Go on, go in for the gold. In for it. Ooh. Nice. Yep. Yeah. That's it. I say that's a yeah. silver. That's it. Uh, extractor, please, ready. Yep. Thank you. Fence, please. The gas off, top lights on. Oh, it's coming. Yay! Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you, please. It's fun, really. A bit of clean-up, please. And... Happy? Yep, thank you. Thank you. All right, sir. You're just waking up from anesthetic. Ben? Hello. It's all finished, Ben. You're just waking up. Touch down. Ben, it's all done. You're on your trolley. Stay nice and still there. Everything's fine. Just waking up now. Deep breath in, Ben. Take a deep breath. I'm going to take you through to the recovery room now, OK? Just rest your hands down there, my lovely. David Hanwell? Yes. Oh. If my 
wife appears, tell her I'm, where I've gone. <laughs> well, I suppose there are risks associated with any procedure, but I'm confident that the surgeons will do their best. They're going to remove the lump and remove a part of the surrounding tissue just to make sure they've got the whole thing out. <laughs> Pop yourself here for me, my darling. I'm just going to go through some paperwork with you, if that's OK. Yep. So my name's Louise, I'm the nurse on today. Hello, Louise. David used to be a school teacher before he had a radical change of career. I had a, a great call to church ministry. And so I then became a priest, and I've been a priest for the last 20 years. David's no stranger to hospitals. He's had a host of medical problems over the years. I've had the usual things like tonsils and appendix out. Arthritis at all? Yes. I'm seeing the rheumatologist about that, and they're going to aspirate the knee in three weeks' time. Ooh. Is that here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you back again? Yes. <laughs> we'll find you a space, shall we? I'm gathering things as I get older. <laughs> I've had a, a pulmonary embolism, which involved a certain degree of resuscitation. <laughs> and I've also had a heart attack, which similarly involved a degree of resuscitation, actually lying on the streets of London. <laughs> you are collecting things. <laughs> oh, I'm so just. I'm so just. I wish I wasn't really. <laughs> 20 years ago, I had a brain tumour. The surgeon who was going to do the operation, he went through some of the complications that could exist, and I said, don't worry, I'm going to be fine. And he said, yeah, yes, I know, that's good. That's good that you're confident. And I said, no, I know I will be fine. And he said, how do you know? And I said, well, God's not going to call me to do his work and then take the rug out from underneath my feet just as I'm about to be ordained. That was my answer, and that's my answer to a great many things in life. Hello. <laughs> this is my wife, Debbie. I've hidden him. We've been married four years. Debbie was coordinator of a home hospice organisation. And I would see her at funerals. Yes. We'd sort of laugh and say, here again, you know. I'll be right back and I'll grab your chair. Oh. <laughs> you can do your eye now, are they? Yes. Oh, fingers crossed then. <laughs> Just four weeks ago, David was diagnosed with a form of skin cancer. I've got a growth just on the eyelid, and uh, I've had it for some years, but gradually it's been getting bigger, and it started to itch, and so I spoke to the doctor about it, and he said it's what's called a basal cell carcinoma. A basal cell carcinoma is one of the more treatable skin cancers. However, the only way to stop it from growing both above and below the skin is to have surgery to cut it out. David's consultant is Mr. Bayard. Because David's cancer was close to his eye, there was an obvious risk of damage to his eye. OK. Are you ready to go? Yes. Let's go. This type of cancer is fairly common, often related to ultraviolet light and sunlight. But uh, removal of this is very critical around the eye because there's plenty of areas it can spread to that can very, have very big consequences <laughs> to the eye. <laughs> we need to be sure that we've removed all the cancer cells if we don't do that, there is a significant risk that this could regrow again over the next months or years. I have been a patient, and I've been a patient in this hospital. I fell off a ladder uh, while doing the hedges, um, and I was extremely well looked after. I very recently had my tonsils taken out by the lovely Mr. McPartland. <laughs> He's so, so nice. People working in the medical profession don't always make the easiest patients. Um, their own knowledge of what they think is going to happen can make them quite, quite difficult patients to treat. Um, but we had no such problems with Alex. The strangest thing was seeing it from a patient's point of view. 
even though I do it every day. It is terrifying being on the patient side. Bottom right, yeah. Ben Crawford has undergone an operation to remove his gallbladder. His grandma Carol has been waiting for him. So you're back in the ward now, Ben, okay? Have a good rest, all right? All the best with your recovery. Thank you for everything. Take care. Thank you. As his body fully recovers from the general anaesthetic, it becomes apparent that this major surgery has taken its toll. just so I can turn the bell off a minute. OK. Is it what sort of pain are you saying? Think Stabbing it is? pain. Stabbing pain. OK. Is it like a clenching pain? <laughs> yeah. It's been nearly two hours since Ben Crawford had an operation to remove his gallbladder. His pain has been getting more intense. I'm not allergic to anything you know of. Okay, so I've got a little, it's like a squidge in, so I'll squidge a little, swallow. He's given oral morphine. God knows, I don't know what does it taste like. <coughs> yes. Sweet. Sweet, mm -hmm. could be worse. Yeah. <laughs> Should be a drop of water. Yeah. Just try and close your eyes. I know it's yeah, a bit of a crampy sort of pain, is it? Yeah. Okay. See how that goes. If Ben's pain doesn't subside, it could be a sign that some bile has leaked out into his stomach and that might mean further surgery. Anaesthetist Dr. Ankaredi comes to assess Ben. Benjamin, you're not of pain, are you? Where about is the pain? It's in there, is it? Okay, it's, it's, not on the top, it's, it's, not, in, it's yeah. inside. What kind of pain is that? Stabby and then it cramps when it's doing that. It's doing that, is it? Is it something that, that twisting kind of pain, is it? Okay. I can not. It's just getting tighter. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm trying not to cry. It's, it's genuinely that painful. Oh, it's painful. It's been half an hour since Ben had the fast acting liquid morphine, and he's still in pain. Dr. Ankaredi has given the okay for him to have more medicine to try and stop the severe cramps. So he's given you 20 milligrams, so we'll do the trick. Thank you. Right, David, make yourself comfortable in this chair, please. David Hanwell is about to have a cancerous growth removed from his eyelid under local anaesthetic. They've told me to keep very, very still because any movement, any tendency to want to open my eyes to see what's going on would naturally interfere with the process. What do you normally do? I'm a priest. Okay. Yeah. Which church? Well, I, I'm, I'm on the retired list now, yeah. but I used to have five parishes. It's going to be a nurse with me holding my hand all the time and if I do need to sneeze or cough or twitch or whatever, I'm to squeeze their hand. David's surgeon is Mr. Rendumis. He's in training to become a consultant which takes between seven and ten years. 
is being supervised by Mr. Bayard. I think I'm fairly critical. If I see that they're not repairing it correctly, I will ask them to redo it until it's to the standard that I'm satisfied with. Classic features of a BCC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now it's time for the local anesthesia. You may feel a small pinching, yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. Lighting is still not great there. Do you feel anything here, sir? No. Good. Here? No. Good. Mr. Rendumis needs to cut away the growth and the surrounding tissue. Good. You okay under there, sir? Mm, absolutely, thank you. Good. We'll go nicely. The specimen will be sent off for testing. Although basal cell carcinoma is a fully treatable condition, we do need to ensure that we've removed it all at the time of surgery. If we get the result coming back that still shows some cancerous cells at the edge, we do sometimes need to go back and take a, a little bit more tissue to ensure that we've cleared it properly. Mr. Rendumis starts to seal the large wound internally. Mm. We'll be a bit more anesthesia. Mm. Just filling the heat a little bit there, so we'll give you a bit more. Okay. Different sensations, the sharp compared to the heat. It's all come out very nicely. We'll just try and put you back together again there. Eh? That hand away from you initially. Slide the knot so it's flat. That's it. And then once you're nearly together, then you change your direction. Got to be fussy on your face, you see, sir. Got to get it right. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be entering any beauty competitions. So. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> well, at least you know now you can do if you want to. <laughs> you, 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 don't, you don't want to be remembered us when you look in the mirror every morning. You want to... Uh... There's only one person that gazes at me fondly and looks into my eyes. That's your girlfriend, is it? That's my wife. <laughs> 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 All done, sir. <laughs> it's taken more than an hour to remove the cancerous growth, but David's scarring should be minimal. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Tickety boo. That's it. Thank you very much indeed. That's all right. Thank you. Yes. There we are. It's my wife. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All done. Sorted. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Hello. Can I see? Well, very neat. Very neat. How does it feel at the moment? Oh, you've just caught it with your glasses and made it bleed a bit. It's going to be, yeah. Hello. It's, just Hello it's just bleeding a little bit. Oh, you're having a little bit of a weep. That's absolutely fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. She's doing a funeral on Friday, so let's hope oh. it's not too swollen by <laughs> Yeah, it can bruise a little bit, so it will look a little bit like you've been punched in the eye. I did warn the family. <laughs> Thank you. It's good. It's splendid. AJ yeah. Walsh is recovering from surgery to remove damaged nerve tissue from her foot. You're not singing, AJ. Does she sing? She did. Last time soon? she came back, she was waving a bottle of water and demanding, was she? A, yeah, a, demanding bucket a, bud, a bucket of blood and a pizza. Are you hungry still, then? I'm starving. You're right. I can't decide I'm good. How are you doing? Hmm? Yeah, I'm good. Struggling a bit. Already. That 
tea or something, are you? That yeah, looks good, yeah, doesn't it's it? Saying it's throbbing now. Oh, it's throbbing, is it? Yeah. Whereabouts does it feel like it's throbbing all over your foot? Underneath. More underneath. Yeah. yeah. Is that manageable? That discomfort that you're in at the moment? A bit uncomfortable, but I'm I'm sure I'll be all right. But the first couple of days is always the worst, and then it starts to improve after that. OK? Thank you so Fantastic. much. Fantastic. So well, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank, All right. You. Thank you. She needs to keep off her feet for about two weeks, I think. And then she's got another four weeks after that to convalesce and get back to fitness again. Does it feel weird? Are you? Do you want to lean on me? <laughs> that used to it, are you? Me. Give me the bag. You're right. It's two and a half hours since Ben had an operation to remove his gallbladder. He's been given some strong pain medication, which is starting to have the desired effect. Sleep, sorry. No, no. Still in that drowsy old. state. Oh, you yeah, have that done. 21. 21. Oh, bless you. Still a baby. <laughs> Weight loss. <laughs> Don't ever do it. I lost 11 stone. 11 stone? Yeah. Did you really? I was well fed. Well, well done, bless you. I want to know your secret. How you done all that? Just diet and exercise, really. It wasn't really much the same old, same old. I know it sounds so simple. You're amazing <laughs> doing that. It's amazing. So, yeah. Well done. Lost a little bit more now. They're taking that out as well. <laughs> <laughs> David's test results confirmed that all the cancerous cells were removed. He doesn't need another operation and is now cancer free. AJ's foot operation has been a complete success. She and Lynn had a great time exploring New York and even managed to walk 17 miles on the first day. And it took Ben a couple of weeks to fully recover from his operation, but he hasn't had any pain since. He's lost another stone and goes running at six o'clock every morning. Coming up next, here on W, the doc and his team focus on bodies. In Dr. Christian, we'll see you now. And next, over on Dave, trying to make sense of his fears, it's John Richardson, Ultimate Warrior. <laughs>